Hello, John from Bang & Olsen in Manchester, and a big thank you to Steve for letting me hijack his lovely YouTube channel, but I couldn't resist getting involved in the photography challenge, because as you might know, I quite like photography. Here's a couple of shots of the Beolit 17 that I took when it was released. So I have to agree with your lovely photography friend that it is indeed very photogenic. But let me present something else to you. This is my Beosound stage with my LG TV. Yes, I finally got rid of the Samsung. And I've got a new appreciation for it because I think it looks fantastic. Now, just a few little details that I wanted to point out. I love the fact that the back plate, where all the electronics are hidden, has a smaller footprint than the front of the unit, the front fascia. So when it's mounted on the wall, it looks like it's floating just in front of the wall. And that's elegant. I love the little gap between the cloth fret and the aluminium frame, because again, it gives that illusion of floating. It looks like the cover is floating within the frame. And then you come to the frame itself. It's completely seamless, one piece of aluminium that runs around the entire edge of the speaker and it just makes it look very classy. And those laser etch controls on the top, they're very discreet with a very discreet badge and you only see them when you're above the product looking down to actually press the buttons. Again, it's a lot of thought gone into that. It's just so simple and understated. Understated is the word, and I like understated. So that's my case for Bio Sound Stage. Let me know, or let Steve know, in the comments if you agree or disagree. Now, come on, Steve. I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else has brought to the party. Let's see some lovely photographs. And subscribe to Steve if you haven't already, because he's a lovely man and an all-round good egg. Thanks, John. As you'll probably have gathered from John's brilliant introduction, I set a challenge last week to ask you what your favourite, most photogenic and most stylish Bang & Olufsen products are from anywhere across the past 95 years of their production. And thank you very much to everybody who responded. I've been absolutely blown away by the quantity and the quality of photos that have come through. We've had well over a hundred pictures in the last seven days and I've put those up on the community tab of my YouTube channel which you can see after the video by clicking on my username below the video and then scrolling to the community tab. You can also see them on my Instagram page which will appear just here and on my Twitter page just here. So again I'll link to those in the video description so if you want to see the full list of photos so far, and I'll keep on adding to that. So please don't stop. Please send me your favourite Bang & Olufsen photos that you've taken yourself. So please, no stock images, because we can't share those online. Please take your own original photos. It can be a camera phone snap, a professional photo shoot, or anything in between. I'd love to see them and share them to enjoy the best of Bang & Olufsen style. Now, I've got a little teaser for you. Out of all the photos that came in, I was fairly confident that I recognised the products that were on there until I saw this photo from Martin. Now, I obviously recognised the BO Time flute, the alarm clock that's at the front of the picture. I have one myself and I've made a video about it. But I didn't recognise the classic B&O product behind it. So please, can anyone tell me in the comments, what is it? I've deliberately not researched it yet. I don't know, I have no clue. Over to you, what is it please? The device behind the BO Time alarm clock. Now, to follow on from John and his brilliant photos of some more subtle Bang & Olufsen products, the BO Lit portable speakers and the BO Sound Stage TV soundbar, I thought we'll take up the challenge and we'll take Bang & Olufsen's most subtle product from the current range, the BO Sound A1 portable speaker. I've teamed up with my photographer friend Pete, who you can see on Instagram at, at product photo blog, 
and we thought we'd make the most dramatic photo we could of this Bluetooth speaker. So please let me know what you think. Here it is. I had great fun making that. No speakers were harmed in the making of that picture, although it took a while for the uh, joints in my back to knit back together. On the serious note, we've had some brilliant responses to the photos that have come through so far, particularly on Instagram. So thank you very much to everybody who's voted on the pictures, either on the YouTube page, on Instagram or Twitter. It's not my role to choose a winner, so please don't think I'm doing that. What I've done is I've put together a little montage of the photos that stood out as getting by far the most positive responses from all the ones that have been showcased. And there is one particular special mention. So there is one photographer who's had two images that have had really, really good responses. And he's actually a friend of mine, a chap from the Netherlands called Freek, and he's produced two really spectacular photos. And um, I'd encourage you to see if you can see the reflections in the detail in one of them, which um, is one of the things that I think has really impressed people. So we'll go over to the, the montage of photos, uh, starting with the two from Freerk, and these are 12 of the most popular and highly regarded pictures from all the submissions based on your votes. Enjoy. So thank you again to everybody who's submitted photos. Please continue to send in your photos. We'd love to see them and it would be great to do a follow-up video and showcase some more great Bang & Olufsen product pictures. You can send them to me by email at steve at soundsheavenly.com. As I mentioned at the start, John is from Bang & Olufsen of Manchester. He has his own YouTube channel, so please check out his channel. A link will appear just here. And also, if you haven't seen the first photo video, you can see it here. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.